taxi and takeoff lesson. Today we will be practicing taxiing and taking off in the Supermarine Spitfire Mark 9. Press the spacebar to begin. The lesson will consist of the following parts. Before taxi checklist, taxiing, before takeoff checklist, takeoff, and climb to altitude. Press the spacebar to proceed to the first part. Check that these temperatures are in the following ranges. Oil on the left gauge is no less than 20 degrees Celsius and is no more than 80 degrees Celsius. The coolant on the right gauge is no less than 60 degrees Celsius and is no more than 120 degrees Celsius. You can use the num forward slash and num star keys to adjust the field of view or FOV if the temperature numbers are not easy to see. Press num enter to reset the FOV. Press spacebar when ready. Make sure that the propeller speed control lever is fully forward. Use the page up key or move the engine RPM. Check that the pneumatic pressure supply is no less than 220 pounds per square inch. The triple pressure gauge central needle should be in the vertical position. Press the spacebar to proceed. Press the brake lever and check the air pressure for each wheel brake left and right needle on the triple pressure gauge. Press the W key or move the wheel brake axis. Holding the brakes down, increase the throttle to 1800 RPM in order to check brake effectiveness. Monitor RPM on the engine speed indicator highlighted. Press the NUM plus key carefully or move the throttle axis while holding the brake down. Brakes checked. Pull back the throttle lever to the idle position. Open the canopy for better visibility while taxiing. Press the left shift button. You are now ready to taxi. We'll use approximately 1,500 RPM to start moving from a standstill. Once in motion, the throttle lever should be set to the idle to maintain a safe taxi speed. To execute turns on the ground, press and hold the wheel brake lever on your flight control stick, while simultaneously giving rudder input in the direction of the desired turn. This will apply brake pressure to the corresponding main wheel and allow you to turn. In order to use the rudder pedals, press Z to turn left, and X to turn right. Increase throttle to 1,500 RPM. Press the NUM plus key carefully. Hold back the throttle lever. Press the NUM minus key or move the... Stop in front of the yellow line on the taxiway. Perform a left turn by pressing the brakes lever and left rudder pedal while simultaneously increasing throttle. Reduce throttle and center the rudder pedals while keeping the brakes lever pressed in order to stop turning the aircraft. Stay on the tap. Continue taxi. Continue taxi. Slow down and stop. Proceed onto the runway and turn right. Align the aircraft down the middle of the runway and stop. Move to the center of the runway. Division nose down for takeoff with a training load. 
The elevator trim tabs are controlled by the hand wheel on the left hand side of the cockpit. The indicator is on the instrument panel. Press and hold the right control and semicolon combination or mouse over. Trim the rudder right. The rudder trimming tab is controlled by a small hand wheel on the left hand side of the cockpit and it does not have an indicator. The aircraft tends to turn to starboard when the hand wheel is rotated clockwise. Press and hold the right control plus forward slash combination or mouse over a highlighted area and rotate the hand wheel clockwise using the mouse wheel. in the on position. Press the spacebar to confirm. Check that the drop tanks cock is in the off position. Press the spacebar to confirm. is in the up position. Press the spacebar to confirm. Make sure that the supercharger switch is set to the auto normal position. Confirm that the red light is on. Press the right shift plus S combination or click the highlighted switch. air intake control lever on the left hand side of the cockpit. The filter in operation position must be used for all ground operations, takeoffs and landings. Make sure the lever is set to filter in operation position. Press the spacebar to confirm. At normal train loads, a plus 8 pounds per square inch boost is sufficient for takeoff. To begin takeoff, pull the stick back and increase throttle to a plus 8 pounds per square inch boost. Gradually let the stick come forward as the plane speed increases to lift the tail. There is a tendency to swing to the left, but this can be easily checked with rudder input. The plane will become airborne at 90 to 95 miles. Pull the stick back and increase boost to plus 8 pounds per square inch. Watch the boost gauge highlighted for current boost values. Press the NUP plus key carefully, or move the throttle axis. Use the rudder to maintain your heading down the runway. Gradually ease the stick to the neutral position. Airborne, gain speed in horizontal flight.
Press the space bar. 